Over 383,000 people have called for ex-Post Office CEO Paula Venels to be stripped of her CBA as the scandal unfolds in ITV's Myth Bates as the Post Office, which stars Amy Nuttall and Will Meller. Mr. Bates with the Post Office star Amy Nuttall is one of the many thousands backing a petition to strip ex-Post Office boss Paula Venels of her CBA after the highly publicized scandal unfolded in ITV's new drama. The 64-year-old was the chief executive of the Post Office from 2012 to 2019 and was awarded a CBA at the end of her reign. The ITV four-part series focused on former postmaster Alan Bates, played by Toby Jones, has been described as the most widespread miscarriage of justice in British legal history after more than 700 people who were wrongly accused of theft, fraud and false accounting due to a faulty computer system called Horizon. The new software was brought into branches across the country in 1999 in a bid to improve efficiency, but as a result of a glitch it led to the incorrect financial discrepancies. Amy, who plays Lisa Castleton in the four-part drama, has confirmed she has signed the petition, which has racked up over 300 and 83,000 signatures so far. Campaigner David Smith has called for Paula's CBE to be removed due to her role in the wrongful prosecution of hundreds of post office staff. The Crown actress Leah Williams, who takes on the role of Paula, is seen in the drama making key decisions which changed the course of the investigation. When the scandal was thrown into the spotlight with a public inquiry, Paula had already stepped down from her CEO position and moved on to have a career in the NHS. In a statement issued to the victims of the scandal, she said, I am truly sorry you were unable to find both a solution and a resolution outside of litigation and for the distress this caused. After the Court of Appeal quashed the convictions of 39 employees in 2021, she also said, I am truly sorry for the suffering caused to the 39 sub postmasters as a result of their convictions which were overturned last week. Paula went on to say she would be stepping back from her duties as a minister at the Church of Sestowen as the scandal had been a distraction. She added, I have therefore stepped back with immediate effect from regular parish ministry and intend to focus fully on working with the ongoing government inquiry to ensure the affected sub postmasters and wider public get the answers they deserve. Alongside Emmy, many of the actress' 23,000 followers also flocked to the comments section to confirm they had signed the campaign. A second added, Fantastic drama has hopefully brought this disgraceful event to the public's eye, and the perpetrators should be brought to account. A third typed, already signed. Truly terrible what the supposed masters went through. The TV drama was excellent and you should all be very proud. Emmy has also used her platform to encourage fans to watch the important series. She wrote, Hope people are tuning in to watch this. It's an important one and everyone needs to see just how shocking and unbelievable it is. It's gut-wrenching and utterly heartbreaking what happened to these innocent people. Please watch and please share. Hashtag Mumbaitis V. Silipic. Post Office. To date, the Post Office has offered more than £138 million of compensation to around 2,700 postmasters. A spokesperson told the BBC said it fully shares the aims of the current inquiry and is doing all we can to right the wrongs of the past. They added, both post office and government are committed to providing full, fair and final compensation for the people affected.